Thanks for checking out the video today, guys. This is going to be the first part of a four-part series. In the first part, we're going to go over the Wemos board, the IDE, configuring and installing the drivers and libraries, and running our first program. The second part, we're going to use a relay. The third part, we're going to use a humidity sensor. And the fourth part, we're going to bring them both together to control a bathroom fan. When the humidity gets too high, the fan will kick on. The Wemos board uses the ESP8266 microcontroller. It's a full TCP IP stack. It also has a serial to USB programming chip, the CH340G. It's a very inexpensive chip, which makes this board very cheap and very easy to program. You can even get it on Amazon. The link's in the description below. It comes with a few different header options. On the left, you have the female. In the middle, you have a female and male. And then on the far right, you have the male headers. I'm using the standard female headers. This will allow me to plug in any shields I have to the top of it. I'm gonna use the breadboard here to make sure that all the pins line up correctly. This is a really good tip for when you're soldering Arduino minis, anything that has a standard dip package. Time to get soldering. Some really good videos on soldering. If you're interested in me making one, I'd be happy to. If you have never soldered before, I'd hit pause now and go check one of those out. The general idea is you take your pencil soldering iron, you heat up the pad and the pin, and you slowly bring in the solder so that it fills the hole connecting the pin and the pad together, making a cone shape. Once it's all soldered up, you can see that I have plenty of room here to add a shield on top of this. These headers give you plenty of room so that nothing will come in contact with anything below it. If you take a look at my solder joints, they look pretty good. They look like little cones. There's no globs. There's no cold joints. There's no excess solder. And it came out really well. And at this point, the board is ready to go and you can fire it up and load some code on it. I'm going to be doing this on Windows. It's pretty much the same process for a Mac. What you're gonna to need to do is navigate to the Arduino website because we're gonna be using the Arduino IDE. It's an integrated development environment. It's a free piece of software that lets us write code, compile it, debug, and eventually send it over to our Wemos board and control something in the physical world. The Arduino community is extremely vast and full of resources. It's really easy to Google something and get answers. It's a great platform to get started on. The next thing we need to do is head over to the Wemos website. There we're gonna be able to find the drivers for the CH340G. It does not have native Windows or Mac drivers, but they can be easily downloaded, especially for Windows, and installed using an exe file. Now I don't have a Mac, so I'm not gonna go over how to install it for a Mac in this video, but you can simply Google that and there's plenty of answers out there. This chip is very popular. Once you have that installed, we're gonna have to head back over to the Wemos website and grab a little bit more information so that we can configure the Arduino IDE for the Wemos chip and the ESP8266. Once there, you wanna click on the Getting Started in Arduino. You wanna copy the GitHub link here and navigate to the GitHub website GitHub has the most up-to-date information about this library and also has a great getting started guide as well. We're going to scroll down here and we're going to copy this URL right here. We're going to need this to install the library. The newest version of the Arduino IDE introduced official support for adding third-party boards. This addition is great because it allows users to quickly add new boards with just the click of a button. Previously, this process was manual and very cumbersome. I'm not gonna bore you with how to install a program. I already have the Arduino program installed, so if you need to install it, pause now and go do that. Navigate to the preferences page and paste in the URL in the blank field at the bottom. The next thing we're gonna do is install the library. You want to navigate to Sketch, 
library and then library manager. You want to search for ESP8266 platform. As you type it in, it's going to be the first one that pops up, the ESP8266 microgear. Install that. Now we're going to navigate over to tools, board, and then board manager. In the board manager, we're going to search for ESP8266 and we're going to install the one by the ESP8266 community. This takes a little bit of time to install, but once it's installed, you can navigate back up to tools and you will notice that there is a number of new boards to choose from. We are going to select the Wemos D1 Mini as that's the board we're currently working with. Also good to double check at this time that you have the correct COM port selected. I know that my board is plugged in and connected to COM5. We're going to navigate to sketches and we're going to see the library that we've installed here comes with a bunch of example sketches. We're going to select the ESP82 blink example. This is going to blink the LED that comes installed on the Wemos board. We're going to click to compile. It's going to take a few seconds and then it's going to start the upload. Now this takes some time, but you'll see the progress bar jump up in a second. And you'll notice that the LED on the Wemos board will start to blink very rapidly. Once it reaches 100%, you know the code has been uploaded successfully and there were no errors. I hope you guys enjoyed this first part. I do have three more parts planned. Part two, we're going to configure the relay shield. Part three, we're going to configure the temperature and humidity shield. And in part four, we're going to bring both of those together to control the fan in a bathroom when the humidity gets too high. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Subscribe so you don't miss parts two, three, and four. Thanks and take care.